what's going on you guys welcome back to another video in this video i want to talk about seven signs of hoovering now all of us probably experienced narcissistic hoovering but sometimes people hoover you with good intentions like maybe to make up after a fight you know or to compromise over something you know to agree to disagree over something it could be anything that just bring peace to a situation you know all hoovering isn't bad hoovering but narcissistic hoovering is what stands out because a lot of times you'll see in a narcissist uh, body language what they really came for what they really want out of this and trust me it's not that they want to make peace they do not want closure they don't believe in compromising because they don't believe in free will the narcissist just wants to gain control and they have ways and tactics they use to do so you know they like to play mind games and nothing works better for them than to pop up and pretend like it's innocent or it's just a coincidence. Narcissists, they show up to your favorite places, you know, knowing that there's a chance they might see you there. And even if it's just to see you, now this set aside from just hoovering, it's a little bit more stalkerish you know like they just like to pop up to places and and see you you know they ease their way back in by taking baby steps especially if it's been a while so first they just want to pop up and well not pop up first they'll just be in places that they know there's a chance they might see you that could be a grocery store a bookstore even a gas station or some of your favorite places to shop. They'll show up there and probably be hiding somewhere watching you. But trust me, they give it some time. They don't always just go for the move. They give it some time. Because now they see that, oh, you're still coming there. So probably not this time. Maybe not even the next time. But soon, they're going to make the approach. You know, they show up to your favorite places pretending to meet someone there, you know, just to spend a lot of time picking you for new information. And the more information you give them, the better the chance for the narcissist to get back in. You know, you may find them shopping on your side of town more often than usual in hopes to see you. They also like to form relationships with your close friends or relatives or just close associates because they know that sooner or later you'll show up you'll be around and they'll get to see you without having to explain to you why they are there and these are the hoovers that you know they they come up with a different way to hoover because you've already shut them out and they don't give up easy because to a narcissist everything is a darn mind game to them everything is a competition it's it's even it gives them the drive and a adrenaline to keep going because it's like they're going to show you that you're just not going to get rid of them that easy so they'll find different ways to pop up hoping to see you and even if that takes you know, befriending your friends, associates, or relatives, they'll do so. Crazy, just crazy. Obsessive, and they don't give up. You know, they also fake confrontations with you, pretending to be outraged over something they know you didn't do. And these type of hoovers normally happen when a narcissist haven't heard back from you in, in a timely manner. Man, I'm sorry. That they thought that they would. You'll be surprised. But defending yourself against the narcissist gives them 
a little satisfaction. And it also tells them that you don't have a problem with them, so maybe there's a chance, you know, that you'll let them back in. You're open to start over. You're open to new beginnings with them. See, that's how they see it in their mind. Even if you're not promising them anything, you know, a lot of times you just want to make peace of the situation and move on. You know, you just want to let them know that there's no hard feelings. It also gives them this false hope that they can get you back. Now, side note, narcissists also, they think that forgiveness means reconnection. It never fails. They fail to accept your terms after the discard. See, what they expect is that they can always get you back, even after a long time has passed. They have that that big ego, that arrogance about them. They know they can make a move. They got a plan. And this one will work. They always have something up their sleeve, thinking that, you know, they can make it happen. They think they have so much power and control over things. With the number six sign of hoovering is when a narcissist pretends to pop up and collect items that they don't even care about. They just want to see you. That's all. They just want to see you. And you'll be quick to give them their items back. But they don't just want the items. They want you to let them in so that they can bring back up a conversation. You know, bring back those uncomfortable conversations. They want to take it there again because they cannot handle defeat. They, they take it as a rejection. They take it as you're shutting them out. When you're done with it, you're done and you've moved on. You're overcoming everything you've been through with them. You don't want to be here again. But they don't know how to let go until you give in and say things that they need to hear. Narcissists really try to convince you, manipulate you, brainwash you into thinking that they didn't do nothing wrong. And, you know, a lot of times they know they did something wrong. But if they can just and they tell they tell themselves that I didn't do nothing wrong. Everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect. It's not like you've never done anything wrong in your life. But that's not the point. That is the furthest thing from the point. Thing is, it's repetitive. You've seen it happen over and over again. You went through this with them over and over again. And now you're at the point where you're done. And there's no going back. And they know that. That's why it's so hard for them to just give up and move on. They can't handle the feet. They look at it as defeat they look at it as you know they're going to take it as an injury because now this is a, another person who's doing me like this they never learn the lesson from the last time it happened they just become a victim over and over again from the situations that they created so yeah that's that's another thing they'll do you know, they hope that maybe you will let them in, maybe have a conversation and start back where you left off or where they left you off at. <laughs> you know, it happens with the narcissist. The number seven sign of hoovering is when a narcissist, they take it to a whole nother level where they they try to hit you where it hurt again because you have shown no signs of dealing with them again. You're, you've shown no signs of being interested in that with them again. So now they have to punish you with this Hoover. And this is where they'll, they'll, they'll go for your ex. They'll try to date your ex. They smear you to your ex they lie and pretend like you have said bad things to about your ex 
So now this gives a better chance of them, you know, seeing if they got an easy chance with the ex. And they don't care about that. They're just trying to get a reaction out of you. They want you to hurt because you haven't turned things around yet. In their mind, this is payback because you hurt them. Even though you didn't hurt them, but that's how they take it. You know, they don't know how to move on. So you might find them dating your ex. And, and you're like, well, okay. <laughs> do what you do. You know, if that makes you happy, go for it. You know. And it may not even be an ex. It may just be somebody that you messed with at one time. Y'all remember the movie Swim Fan? Well, a new girl is in town. And she just takes on this... Uh, quick obsession with this guy that she hardly even know she becomes so obsessed with the dude and she's like a a psychopath or a sociopath it's like in her mind she believed that she can just have him and he cheated on his girlfriend with her but he admit that he made a mistake he took accountability and he wanted to to do away with that and Start over as just friends and let it go. He apologized to hurt it for hurting her. But she didn't want to hear that. It was hard for her to let that go. The girl name was Madison. The guy name was Ben. Y'all, are, you know, some of y'all probably seen the movie with Swim Fan. And she ended up going with Ben's friend named Josh. They were on a swim team together. I bet you any kind of money, they didn't put this in the movie, but, you know, I'm thinking it. I know she smeared the, she smeared the dude to his best friend and lied and said he really don't like you. Just to get the best friend to maybe admit, well, I always thought you was cool, you know. You know, I would have hollered at you, but I thought that y'all had something going on and You know, she probably lied and said, I always told him that I just wanted to be friends. You know, narcissists do things like this. They turn a story around and make themselves look innocent. And to turn people against you. So I'm sure she smeared um, the guy that didn't want her to his best friend. So that now she gets a chance with his best friend. Hoping that Ben will see this and get jealous. And it didn't work. He was glad. He was relieved. He was like, whoo good got that off of me that's his problem now so the guy really don't feel threatened by this he don't care because he don't feel like he lost anything but this is just another sign of hoovering when a narcissist feel like that they have lost you for good now they go in for the punishment and the payback so those are the seven signs of hoovering it list goes on and on you know but thank y'all for watching and I'll talk to you soon.